Welcome to Second Opinion, the review show here on The Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing the 45 North Xerxes Studded Tires. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO97. So, trust me, once you slip on the ice on your knobby tires once and uh, hyperextend your shoulder out, you'll only ride studs during the winter after that. Uh, these studded tires come in at $60 each. And uh, let's talk about traction first. So, yeah, people always talk about like fat tires being uh, what you want to look for for winter riding. Um, and that works fine if you are like on packed snow or really deep snow. Um, but for city riding in the winter, um, you. I, th- I am of the philosophy that you really want like narrow tires that will kind of cut through, that'll slice through all that slush and, you know, lighter snow and, uh, and give your studs a, a chance to like grip onto the pavement or the hard ice that's underneath all of that. Um, and so, yeah, these uh, Xerxes studded tires definitely fit that description. Um, I have heard multiple people, including like, you know, bike mechanics at bike shops, like remarking that, Wow, those are the those are the narrowest studded tires that I have ever seen. Um, so yeah, these suckers, in addition to being nice and narrow, they also they have so many studs. Um, there are some studded tires that kind of like alternate which side has a stud. You know, as you're rotating the tire, you'll see like, oh, there's one on the right, and then like a little while later, there's one on the left, and then there's one on the right. No, this one's got studs on both sides. You know, pa- or um, parallel to each other all throughout the uh, circumference of the tire. Uh, I believe it is 140 studs in total. Um, I think that's what the website said. Uh, And I can definitely attest uh, that these things are very, very grippy. Um, I have fallen maybe a a total of like three times over the last uh, two winter seasons that I've ridden these. Um, And... uh, you know, two out of those three falls were kind of my fault because I was just like being way too ambitious about how <laughs> how aggressively I was banking with my turns. Um, and also like all of the all of the times that I've fallen with these, um, they were much slower falls than like they otherwise would have been. Um, and so I was able to like manage the falls and kind of, you know, be a little bit more graceful about it uh, than I than I would have been if, you know, I'd been riding with my slicks. As for durability, so I've ridden two winter seasons with these tires on. Um, They use steel carbide studs, so those aren't going to wear down. Um, Yeah, the the person in the shop said, like, oh, yeah, the rubber will just, like, rot away before uh, those studs have any chance of, like, wearing down. Um, Now, that rubber. Um, The rubber does get, like pretty seriously pockmarked um, from all of, like, the road salt that you're going to be riding over. Um... And, uh, and I also have, even though the studs don't wear down, right, you know, sometimes they can, like, pop out of their housings. So I have lost a significant number of studs uh, from these tires. Uh, one of the tires uh, lasted for one winter season, and then when I went to put it back on at the beginning of my second winter season, um, I discovered that, like, it just had a super weak wall, and so I had this big old bulge. Um, that's that's wild. I don't know why like I didn't notice that bulge at the end of the first winter season when I took the tire off, but when it came time to put it back on, like it wasn't suitable for riding on anymore. So, um yeah, so I had to replace that tire with an, another Xerxes. Um so I now have uh one tire that has gone through two winter seasons with me uh and one tire that has gone through one winter season with me. Um and then there was that original one that I threw away. Um, and I think that the ones that I have with me right now are still, I think they're both still good to go for another winter season. A uh, few miscellaneous thoughts. Um, yeah, I love how secure these tires make me feel. Like, honestly, uh, when I'm on my bike with my studded tires on, I feel more stable than, like, when I'm walking around on my own two feet on on a lot of the ice and snow situations that we encounter here in the twin cities. Um, 
I am very curious to see if there are other studded tires that might last longer than these ones. Um, so I, I have heard recommendations um, from Crystal over at Lower Town Bike Shop. Um, so I might uh, I might check out the studded tires that she recommended. I don't remember what the name of them are off the top of my head, but uh, you know I'll, I'll ask her when it comes time to uh, buy a new studded tire. Thanks for listening to this episode of Second Opinion. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck. This episode is released under a Creative Commons attribution license, so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit, uh, as long as you link back to the original page, which, again, is thenexus.tv slash SO97. If you have thoughts on studded tires and you want to discuss them with other listeners, please go to our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash the Nexus TV. Second Opinion is supported by listeners like Quentin Pongratz, who voluntarily joined us on Patreon. If you would like to help out as well and get some cool perks along the way, you can find us at patreon.com slash the Nexus TV. And until next time, have a good one. The Nexus, the Nexus, the Nexus TV podcasts from, from the, the technological, technological convergence. convergence.